Last month, the United Nations released its Environmental Crime Crisis Report, stating that poaching in Africa costs billions of dollars every year, depriving African countries of essential resources and income. One of the recommendations was providing more frontline protection to threatened areas, and this is what Namibia is doing. We have put up measures, and one of those measures are uh, collaboration with the police, the army, intelligence, and the, and also the our, our our prosecution authority to ensure that uh, when these people are brought to book, uh, they are properly prosecuted. Namibia is seen as one of Africa's most successful nature conservation countries, which makes wildlife everyone's business. This responsibility given to people living in conservancies has ensured that they also work together with government in protecting these majestic animals. Community-based natural resource management uh, encourages our communities, especially in rural areas, um, to get into conservation. And that's why we have created, up to now, we have about 81 conservancies, rural conservancies, community conservancies, run by communities. And they're helping us to conserve our wildlife. And they do so. And, and in, in general, our biodiversity. They, they do so. And that's why you find now the shift, the paradigm shift from a rural somebody when he sees a, anything, a springbok, it's meat. Now they see that it's something else. They see that that springbok can cause uh, money in their coffers, in their communities. Figures of exactly how many rhinos Namibia has remain private, as Shafeta says publicizing this could have negative effects in the efforts to curb poaching.